What part of my body is this? That's your pectoralis minor. Is this the one they cut open to put in my big t God, I'm gonna get cancelled for saying this. Serratal interior, they are the best. External obliques, they're on your side. <laughs> I could never do this before. I feel like this is, I'm just kind of scared. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this in here, <laughs> bite down. <laughs> Wait, for real? Are you gonna electric shock me? What's going on out there, YouTube land? Today we're with Harley Cameron, AEW, singer extraordinaire. Oh, thank you, sir. A very multi-talented <laughs> immigrant. <laughs> yeah, she's a Pacific Islander, we decided. We decided, yes, because yeah. I'm married into one counts, basically. Yeah, and she's from an island. Yeah, Australia's an island. In the Pacific? In the Pacific, which I just learned today. To, to be specific. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the only islands that's also a country and also a continent. You guys are so isolated, you're only wars with like emus. Yeah. <laughs> or do you say emus? Emu. 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 You gotta say, accentuate the emu. I say emu. Emu. Which are like ostriches, like. Nerdy little brothers. Yes, yes, not as cool, not as cool. They uh, they didn't evolve dodging lions, so they're just not quite as big. Yeah, as strong. they're not as big as strong. They're but also I... pretty aggressive. You ever pet one? An emu? Yeah. Oh no, because they're aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I I pet many a kangaroo though. Have you? I have not. Yes, I have laid with the kangaroo. What? I mean, not like that. <laughs> that would be bestiality, which is not what I'm about. No, you can actually lay with them in the eco sanctuary. Oh. Okay. Yes, you can. <laughs> I took a trip down south. You can <laughs> lay with, oh, boom, boom, that's where I'm from, down south. So you can actually lay with kangaroos and they're very placid and docile, except then there's some like crazy kangaroos that are like big and jacked, so. I've seen those ones. There's yeah. that viral video where the guy has the dog in the Yeah, he's like beating it up. Punches him, yeah, yeah he's yeah, like, yeah. like, oh my dog and punches him. Yeah, they're the ones you see like in the outback or when you're driving on the highway. But the ones that are in like captivity are like super chill. So you grew up around marsupials, that's interesting. I did, and snakes and bugs and all the fun oh, stuff. Oh yeah, you guys have all the most like lethal, the box jelly. I, was like, I always tell people bugs. about the box jelly. Yeah, it's the, if you get stung, you're dead in five minutes. The, the funnel web. Mm -hmm. Yes, red back spider. Red back, yeah. yeah. we got the red back belly snake. Red black, red, red, red back belly snake. Something like that. I don't know. I'm not a snake expert. <laughs> but you guys got a lot of them. We got a lot of them. A lot of snakes. <laughs> so as, as you can tell, she probably needs to start her own podcast. We were just talking about that. <laughs> the question is, who would be the co-host? I don't know. Robbie? D oh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to do well. But that <laughs> <laughs> But I'm just, him just making faces at you every time you say something crazy. I feel like I want to say he's really good. You know how like you have hype men? Uh -huh. He's like the hype man, like okay. the equivalent of rolling the eyes though. But it just it hypes me up more because right. I see him going like. Because you get the reaction, you're like, yeah. Oh. So she yes. uh, she self cracks a little bit, but she's really never gotten adjust before. So today's gonna be the first time that she's gone through this process of selling crack to you kids on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> I feel about that. I just hope I can su supply the crack. <laughs> I just don't know if I can. We'll she doesn't know if she has any crack to sell. I don't know if I have any crack ability, but we'll see. Yeah. I've had people that be like, let me crack your back and like grab me and I'm like, Ugh, and it doesn't work. Or like, they're like, let me crack your hands. I'm like, go for it, it's not gonna crack. So mm -hmm. I haven't really been, I haven't really been like, crack me people because mm -hmm. I'm just like a little bit, you know, I don't know if I'm crackable. And what does Zion tell you about? To be honest, when I try to get him to crack me, every time he does it, like he picks me up and then my like, boot my eye and glance so you can't tell <laughs> and usually i'm like he, he doesn't he's like no they're gonna explode i can't do it so I'm like he's like really nervous to do like to do that because i i squeeze him when i crack him uh -huh. and that's what he tries on me and he's like no it's gonna pop your chest so mm. he, what did he tell you about our experience me and him i watched the video yeah yeah what do you think he liked it he liked it. He he also I I also watched you go the do him and all that stuff and it, it looked like it was a mixture of like pleasure and pain. Like <laughs> I don't know what to regret. She was like, well, this is an interesting video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was like, this is a real interesting <laughs> You're too funny. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. At least I've cracked you up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so tell us how you got your, uh, your wrestling name. Um, Harley Cameron. Where did I get that from? So it's funny because Daniel Zion Quinn, and I knew I couldn't be Harley Quinn, Quinn but I like mm. my idea of it. Oh my god. Trademark? Uh, um, wait, I forgot what I was saying. What was it? Oh, my name. Oh, yeah. So the name Harley Cameron came because it's like a nod of Harley Quinn, which I think. I love the personality of that persona. Mm. And um, 
it's kind of like I'm married to Zion Quinn, so Harley Quinn. Uh. Oh, Lord, baby! Craggy! Ja! Um, but <laughs> I like, I just always like the name Harley for a girl for some reason. I just decided I like, and I like Cameron as a woman's name. And I'm just like, I'm just gonna pick that and mix it together. Well, two first names, huh? Yeah, two first names. Oh, I don't know if I'm meant to be cracking right now, but it feels deep in my neck. That's where it is. That's where it lives. Uh, uh, so I asked him the same questions. It's like, how do you feel about Outback Steakhouse? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> how do you feel about Foster's? I don't, oh, the beer? Yeah. I don't drink for one, but second of all, like, no, I don't know anyone that drinks Foster's. It's just a lie. A total lie. Oh, feels like that loosened up a bit. Men at work. Men at work? You like oh, them or not? Yeah, great. They're great. Okay. Crocodile Dundee, realistic drama or not so much? He's a legend. Okay. Crocodile Dundee's an absolute legend. Crocodile Hunter, sympathetic figure or animal bully? Oh, I, can't. I mean, he's those crocodiles and oh, baby lord! <laughs> Fudge, Fudge stick. I don't know if I can swear, but I'm gonna. You can. Oh, crikey! The question is, do they, uh, do the curse words translate? Because like, the quote unquote C word in, in your culture is not necessarily derogatory. You could oh be good, yeah. You could be a good, you know. That word to us is like a compliment. Like people are like, like they, I won't say it because it's the one word that my mother would be very upset with. <gasps> yes. Really? Yeah, oh yeah, it's really So like, it's still a bad word there? Well, as a, I don't, I don't want to sound sexist, but as a woman, I just think it's trashy to say it. Like okay. men say it because, God, I'm gonna get cancelled for saying this already. But I just feel like it's different when a man says it and a woman says it. Because in our culture, men say it very like casually, uh -huh. like in a casual context. It kind of means mate or whatever and blah blah blah, like joking around. But when you hear a woman say it, I just think it's very like unladylike. Okay. It's being like a, an attacking yeah. or something like that. Yeah, and that's coming from me, who's like the most like, like you know, I have a very crude sense of humor. So I, if, if I don't want to say it, then yeah. that says a lot, you it's, know? It's reached uh, other proportions. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, you Ugh. know, because when uh, Crocodile Hunter died, a lot of like animal activists were like... Oh, the Crocodile Hunter died? Yeah. No, you're thinking it's... Oh, no, yeah. okay. Okay, we're, we're right talking about two different Steve people. Steve Irwin. I thought you were talking about uh, Crocodile Dundee. He did ask about that. Oh, yeah. okay. So, yeah, with the Crocodile Hunter, Steve Irwin, oh my mm -hmm. gosh, he was my hero. Legend. Legend, absolute legend. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Do I have a tight neck? Is yeah. it tight? Did I do? Yeah. Did you get on a plane or something? No. <laughs> I, I, oh wait, yes I did. I traveled today. Today's <laughs> my travel day. And then I had a big drive as well. Holy. Whoa. Crikey. Ah! Ah! Hang in there. You got this. <gasps> to tell you that I don't get massages because I don't like them. My bad. No, it's okay. I probably need this. Yeah. Oh. So I already asked you all my, my cliche, <sighs> cringy Australia questions. Yeah. So what got you into wrestling? Oh God. I mean, I grew up watching it like most of us did. <laughs> Fudge stick candy lane. Oh. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> What's coming out of my mouth? You, you got words. <laughs> oh my god. You sound like uh, the, the dude getting the waxing on, what was it, 40 year old Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what it, uh, I feel like it's really tight, like a tiger. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hate that I know that I have two sides of my body and this is just one of them. <laughs> Like, I know this is happening There's on the other side. side. This is gonna happen again. Oh, but I do feel like it feels like my body's telling me, you need this. Oh God. Can you tell that no one's ever done this to me before? A little bit. Yeah? Yeah. It's like the way I feel or the way I'm acting? Or you, this, yes. <laughs> yes, all of the above. Yes, it is. <laughs> so you grew up watching it. Was this, what, what, what time slot? Is it syndicated or like, you know, because you guys are on the other side of the world. Well, like, so. If you exist. My, uh, my grandmother used to record it for us and we used to watch it at her house. And my little brother was obsessed with, uh, the Undertaker and John Cena. He like thought he was John Cena. Like he's like which version? The like, rapper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the spinning the spinning bell to the spinner <laughs> chain. Well, or like hustle loyal to respect. He all stages. Okay. But he he was he he was like very 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 big Taker fan. And so was I actually. Except like we were like very 
like he's real like it was like Santa Claus like mm -hmm. we were like we, people would be like this isn't real and we were like it's real because we were so just in love with it and loved watching it growing up and then you kind of grow up and like get out of that stage of life and go to a different stage of life and it falls off but also we're in Australia where like America seems like a far away unachievable dream so you just don't ever think that you could ever come and do that do you know what I mean like not where I was from anyway I'm from like this tiny country town of like a thousand people so it's a lot of sheep there Oh yeah, more sheep than people. It's called Sheepville. No I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he just got with it. We're like, wow, Sheepville on yeah. time. <laughs> but basically, when Dan, uh, uh, yo, ha, no. <laughs> When I was in theater in Australia, I was like a professional like singer in the theater company over there. When we, oh god, fudge. When um, Daniel and I met, and then when he was like, oh, I just, you hear that? I heard that. I cracked. Yeah. It's Steve though. There's a I am, fuck. Yeah, when he was um, going to be over here wrestling, I literally was like moving with him, and I just instantly knew in my heart, I was like, oh my gosh, now I'm going to be living in America. I, want, I wonder if I can do this, but I didn't want to take away his, like, be like, I want to do this too, and like take away his journey. But then after being here for like, a little while people started to tell me after they met me and knew that I was like an entertainer and had a background in fitness also they were like um why aren't you doing this uh, ah, 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 why 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 but you didn't meet him on the rugby pitch I met him when he was oh retiring because I told him I would never date a rugby player oh. so ugh, I don't like rugby I don't like rugby. I don't like. The, you like rugby or rugby players? I don't like rugby. I don't like the culture of Australian rugby. I feel like it's very to be the to be the partner of an Australian rugby player. I'm probably gonna get cancelled for this. But I don't <laughs> care. I just don't like that lifestyle. It's very much the boys, the boys, and I was not into that kind of. When I met him, I was like, oh, I'm not dating you. You're a, you're a rugby player, and I don't want that lifestyle. And then he was like, Well, I'm actually retiring. And too much of a bro. Yeah, very much boys' club, mm. but like just in a way that I was like, I didn't want that. Like, not all of them, but it's very much like, they play and they travel and they all go out to the pub and they're out all night and mm -hmm. the wives kind of sit home. And I just wasn't a, you know, I wanted like a best friend and a partner, not like someone who had their own life, which in that culture, back when I lived there anyway, it was mm -hmm. very much like the boys of the boys and the women, and, you know, like that kind of crap. And I didn't want that in a relationship. Interesting. And Daniel honestly was kind of like in that scene and then meeting me, he very much he like- pulled him out of that scene. Yeah, definitely. He removed but, him, well, he extracted rem him. He removed himself from, he retired and that seat, like that culture, like of that lifestyle disappeared, you okay. know, from Got his it. life. I don't know if it's still like that and I'm not, I don't want to stereotype everyone like that, but it's, you know. Ah, uh, uh, it's- there. So you, you were watching the American Badass Undertaker at your age. Oh, yeah. Because that means you were born in 93, so you would have been watching it like 7 or 8, so that would have been early 2000s. Ooh. So yeah, that would have been American Badass version of Undertaker. You're good. Around that time. You're like a history major. You're a mathematician? Yeah. Geologist. Oh, no, that's rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the, ge the geologist is only the, um, Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel like I- Took me a while. Took me a while. Took me a while. Took me a while. Oh, Lord. Yeah. So, so you're watching it there, uh, so then you, you start singing at what age? Oh, God, in the womb, I think. <laughs> I think I was, I think I was like 12 when I started to sing. When I was like, I want to be a singer. My parents were like, oh, cute. No. <laughs> no? No. They were like, you're going to get a real job. Because they didn't think that at the time being a musician it was, it was a real job. Which, by the way, being a singer, fantastic job. Fantastic pain job. Fantastic life. But as children, we're not taught that the arts is something that is like, mm. you know. Oh, crikey. Ha! What is that? What's going on with that there? It's just my thumb, mostly. But it's like something in my neck that's like really tight. It feels like jerky. Yeah. Like turkey jerky. Turkey jerky, yes. Beef that's, jerky. It's actually the origin of most turkey jerky beef jerky. It comes from the scaling, the posterior scaling. Really? Is that what we got doing this? Yeah. Whoa, really? It's a muscle. Crikey. Mine's, Crikey. mine's, I know, by the way. You don't really say that. 
I do. I do. Really I truly that. do. Come on. Everyone that knows me, look at me in the Come eye. On. How often do I say it all the bloody time? Just say like Not every. No Australians don't, but I do. I promise you. I don't know, like, why I didn't. But I was a big, big, big uh, Steve Irwin fan. Right. When I was a kid, so I feel like I picked it up. It's definitely uh, in my repertoire, my vocabulary. <laughs> Ah. So that's like a full full circle situation. Yeah. So you know, so Greg Jackson, the MMA coach. Yeah. Uh, Steve Irwin was a fan of MMA. Yeah. It's like you know, he's wrestling alligators, and he was like working with. Do you know who Kyle Noak is? No. He's a UFC fighter from Australia. Okay, gotcha. And so they oh. did like this full thing, and then Kyle came over, and then there was this UFC show called uh, Tough Nations, mm -hmm. and it was Australia versus Canada. Yep. So you guys all got into fights with each other. Yep. And you're like, no, we're the real ones that broke away from England, and the other one's like, no, we really are, but really, you guys both have a King Charles now. A King Charles? Yeah, the King of Australia. Oh, I thought that was the piercing you get through your genitals. Oh. Oh, wait, no. I think it's a prince. <laughs> I was so lost then. Okay, I know what you're talking. I know what you're talking about. Yes, I yes. was like, they all have the same piercing. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it's very common amongst fighters. They do it to each other. Actually, they do it to each. It's like the, the boys club. <laughs> yeah. What do you think happens in rugby league? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, what are we doing tonight? Yeah. Piercing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> On each other. On each other. <laughs> First, we're gonna tattoo each other's arms and thighs. Yeah. <laughs> And then we're gonna pierce. Then we're gonna pierce our junk. Pierce the. <laughs> we're not gonna tell our wives about it. Yeah. <laughs> they can stay home. Yeah, they can stay home. Yeah. <laughs> guys, the <but> year. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> this is the life I wanted. Bring the ice packs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the wives are like, hey, as long as you're doing that, they're not doing other stuff with it. So yeah. Just keep punching it. Just keep yeah, more piercing. More, more, more. <laughs> 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 Kylo Ren, more! <laughs> more. So you started singing. Yes. And you said you were in theater. Yeah, I was, uh, I started singing and I was in bands, like, what, like I did, like, you know, the whole, like, battle of bands in high school. And Whoa. then, like, was in, like, 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 proper bands, like, and we just, like. Like marching bands? No, like, rock bands oh. kind of thing. We did, like, I did, like, a lot of Paramore and Fall Out Boy and Queen. And, okay. Like. A lot of old school 80s rock, like Journey, that kind of stuff. Take this arm, we're gonna go in and out like this. Okay. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I keep moving it. Ah, ah, ah. I feel like a chicken. Oh my god. Ah. You're doing great. Uh, oh, I feel like I'm having a baby. Oh god. Ah. Eee. Oh, it feels less bad now. Okay. <laughs> It's a little bit less bad. The baby came out. <laughs> oh gosh, this is, oh, I wasn't ready for that. You're doing great. You're doing great, sweetie. Just <laughs> like, don't bother. Uh, uh, sorry, I hope I'm not sweaty. I'm probably a bit sweaty. You're a little bit sweaty. I'm a little bit nervous. It's fine. I did bring a long sleeve shirt. I bought a long sleeve shirt so I wouldn't sweat on you, but you know, it is what it is. I put a sweat on you. <laughs> And if you guys haven't watched that one, what? They, they did a redo of Oh yeah, spelling. I put a spell on you. Oh, you did that? Oh, mm -hmm. Go up and down. There's oh. a lot of views on YouTube. <sighs> Who else was on that with you? There's three of y'all, right? Jesus fuck. Oh, this, guy, this guy still asked me questions with his fingers uh, in armpit. Scarlet and shits your <laughs> I don't know if I want to cry a lot. My latissimus dorso. <laughs> Fine, it's more like anatomist. Yeah. Well, actually, I made up a song when I did uh, my personal training course to remember all the anatomy. Okay, how's it go? It was, goes, I remember the Oh, God. It was sternocleidomastoid, the one in your neck. Serratal interior, they are the best. External obliques, they're on your side. <laughs> like, it was like, it was like that. No, that was incredible. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Now, <laughs> do it in your real singing voice. <laughs> you, one hundred dollars. No, I'm kidding. Babe, get the money. <laughs> get your voice that high. Uh, I have a whistle tone. 
Mm. What? A whistle tone like Mariah. <laughs> 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 Why are you so obsessed with me? Yeah. <laughs> Is my fingers meant to be open or shut? <laughs> I mean, you could go either way. You could leave like two and put two away. Uh, or gang signs, whatever. Gosh. You guys have gangs? Gangs? Yeah. No. 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 Lame. Like if we do, they're like lame. Oh. Like. Just us, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Just us with our gangs and. Yeah. Crime. Yeah. <laughs> Mass something or other that I can't say. Yeah. <laughs> Just that, huh? Ah. Oh. Ooh. So on a level of like super duper, your your super duper muscles are super duper tight and not that bad. Are they super tight? They're moderate to super tight. Whoa. Does that mean I need to like do this more often? Ah. Uh. Surrender. <laughs> 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 That's where we're going, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but it started yeah. that initial. I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then now it hits so we just went there. <laughs> yeah, and it's a random girl. From the day you arrived on the planet, <laughs> the moment you stepped into the sun. There's more to see. <laughs> Creed is here. Ah! <laughs> After <a> day <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Is, is this the worst body part, by the way? Or does it get worse? It's one of the worst, for sure. Oh, thank gosh! Cause, uh, Especially because it also tickles a little, too. Yeah, it's a weird feeling. Yeah. <laughs> it hurts and tickles. <laughs> it pickles. Oh. It turks. It turks. It took my jam. AI, you took our jams. You watch South Park? Yes. Yeah, I freaking love South Park. <laughs> ah, gosh. Oh, at least I'm going to see my facials for when I give birth because I'm sure it's going to be very similar to this, which is very. You guys working on it, huh? Beautiful. Mm -mm. No, not really. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, I don't wanna go oh, yet. Yeah. I am in baby season. So you gonna have a practice soon or what? We're definitely practicing. <laughs> just, <laughs> just without the outcome. You know, we're making sure the oven isn't prepped when we bake, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know why I always do a man voice when I joke. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there might be some like subtle like patriarchy developing there. Like, <laughs> right. On a subconscious level, you think that only men are supposed to be funny and so Oh, like, right? I need some counseling. Yeah. Uh, I need some like some serious therapy. Yeah, some car. Put your hand on your hip like this. Pull the elbow back. Wait, wait. So pull your elbow straight back. Like that. Yep. Oh! Something popped! <laughs> I popped! Whoa! Can you do that? Whoa. So pull back? Yeah. Pull. So like that, like that. Oh. Like with me off. There it was. I heard it. Oh, I felt it. Mm -hmm. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't know I was able to do this. She was skeptical. I was right, skeptical. Shrug the shoulder. <laughs> shrug it, shrug it, and drop it, and shrug it, and drop it. <laughs> shrug it, and drop it, and shrug it, and drop it. I'm sorry, I'm like a worm. <laughs> a worm. <laughs> An earthworm. An earthworm. Oh, this one sucks, bro. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My favorite is Jim. Jim? Yeah. Who's that? <sighs> He's an earthworm. He's a, oh wait, I'm so lost. I'm late to the party. Comment below if you guys know Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim? No. Oh god, what is this muscle? That's your pectoralis minor. Was that in your song? Twas not. Yeah. Twas not. I guess that's why I failed. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's added in. It's added in. Remix time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is this the one they cut open to put in my big titties? No. <laughs> Just kidding. They're moderately large. <laughs> <laughs> I walked away from that. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I can't be touching her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was bad time. I, mean, I gotta go. I, I canceled 10 dogs in this thing. <laughs> trying to get my ass kicked. <laughs> it's okay. Daniel's used to me. He knows I'm crazy. Man, take me out, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's he's got some big like I mean pectoral that's right pectoros that's right muscles I see him yeah he's he's jacked yeah every time he gets a workout in he like 
this is menacing without the camera yeah. the story. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. I can see his ass, his back, so he's yeah. like, bobble face, hits us with the blue steel. He does, he's a he's very, very attractive human being. Go face up. Face up. Uh, lay on your back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm new! She, she's, she's, she's new. She's new here, it's fine. I'm new here. She's new here. Go hand here, okay. and then take the hand, reach down towards your foot. Ah, oh, fudge stick! And then shrug it. <laughs> <laughs> and reach it, and try it, and reach it. So what other wrestlers did you uh, watch growing up to or look up to or? I, well, I mean, I loved Stacey Keebler and Trish Stratus, you know? You and uh, what I'm doing now, I'm very like inspired by them as wrestlers. And I feel like not a lot of people are doing that anymore. And I just am all about women's empowerment with embracing that side and all that jazz, you know? Which, you know, I, oh God. Oh man, crikey, crikey, crikey. Holy moly, holy moly. But um but yeah, I um I, I still I still more than anyone like have to say, like my brother and I would be we're obsessed with Taker. Okay. We just practice him stone powder. Yeah, 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 literally. Really. Choke slam action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you like you wake up in the morning and you get up in the bed, it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. Did uh who was yours? Who was mine? Favorite. Oh, Ultimate Warrior. Yeah? But I'm older than you. <laughs> oh my god, are we doing the thing? We're doing the thing. You ready for that? I think so. So, drop your left hip a little bit. <laughs> it did it! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scream. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh shit, that scared me. Still with us? Yeah. Fucking hell, that was cool. <laughs> More! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. That was like a combination of like what happened and excitement. <laughs> a little dopamine action thing going on. Whoa, that was crazy. I didn't know that I could do that. Can you do it? <laughs> So when you feel that now compared to that, is that more tight? Yes. Oh, definitely. Okay. So let's but oh my in. gosh, I don't know if I can do it again. Drop your right hip this time. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I don't know. I don't know how to feel right now. <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy! Whoa! Now that's funny. I don't care who you are. <laughs> So we go to right here. You're gonna squeeze both legs together pretty hard. Okay. Squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Harder. Harder. Harder, harder, harder. Nah. One more time. Okay. Squeeze. <laughs> got me. I got you? Yeah, she got me. As in you popped? Yeah, she popped me. Oh, nice. Straight that leg. This so this leg. leg's gonna go up and then down okay. and out and keep doing that motion. Okay. So we're gonna go right there. And musically speaking, you said Paramore was one of the favorite bands. Yeah. Ugh. What other singers inspired you? Uh, again, I think Guns N' Roses and Red Hot Chili Peppers probably. Mm. Gunners, I'm a big Gunners fan. And also Fall Out Boy. Fall Out Boy was because they have so there's a thing in in a, as a vocalist it's called your tessitura, which is like the sweet spot in your voice where you hmm. sing, and. Both Fall Out Boy and Paramore like sing in the exact range of my tessitura, so their their vocal range is pretty identical to where I sing and sound my best. And so yeah, that's why I sang a lot of their stuff. Interesting. Bring my knee up mm -hmm. and then down. But you don't sound in the vocal range of Axl Rose. Ah uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have um I have a five octave range. Yeah, because I have a whistle tone, so I can like sing pretty. Holy shit. High yeah. All right, Mount Rushmore of rock singers. Okay. Four names go on there. Four oh my four. god. Oh god, you can't make me do that. Why? Because I just like I I need to think for so long to pick them. But I think you just need I, to pick let me right do it. Let me do it a bit. Like, like but, but, but you're the voice person, like. I know, but there's like so ma there's just too many. But I I know that my main face on it for sure, which I can say without any doubt, is um, Freddie Mercury. So yeah, but he's got the voice of like the land. He's the most incredible vocalist ever. I think. Mm. I'm also a big Queen fan. He's also on my test year also. So yeah. Uh, Axl Rose or Robert Plant. Okay, Axel Rose or Chris Cornell? Axel. <laughs> what do you think? I'm just asking the questions here. I don't give the answers. <laughs> oh, God! You're the talent. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh crikey. Oh sweet lord. I forgot to tell you my back's really tight. Your low back? It's just my back in general. I'm pretty sure it's super tight. Like this exact part of my back. It do be like that. Holy shit. Breathe. Breathe. Mother of God. All right, top four emo bands. Oh, escape the fate. <laughs> my chemical romance. Oh my God. Oh, um, who else do I really love? Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god! Yeah! Flyleaf! Mm -hmm. Is Flyleaf kind of an emo band? Yeah, kind of. It's more screamo, I guess. Yeah. Oh my gosh! That's uh, a different Mount Rushmore. Yeah, that's a different... Um, I don't think you put like the used and bands like that in, in the screamo Yeah, the category. used is up there as well. Oh my They're god. They're not really an emo category. Yeah. Screamo. And... Oh gosh. You know my last one? Probably... Um, God, I don't know who I'd have the numbers for. Um, maybe, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I hate that I know that there's another side of my back to this too, because I feel like this is the not as tight side. Really? Yeah. The, li the left side up here was worse than the right. Really? Maybe I'm wrong, but I have scoliosis, so, like, not insane scoliosis, but like I feel like one side of my lower back is different than that. So mm. Does that usually the way or is it usually one side of the back? Um, it's it's a normal variant. Yeah. Like up to 25% of people have some form of like spinal normal variant, whether they have like a flat back or a sway back or scoliosis. I think I have what's called slight lordosis. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Can you see it? <laughs> Slight. Yeah. But most females do. <laughs> but most, what did you say? Most females do. I thought you said most emos do. <laughs> also, also emos, you know? Yeah. Oh. It's from tilting their head back and screaming up to the sky, why? <laughs> Literally. Oh. Crikey. See, the other side's tighter, right? Yeah, the other side's tighter, you're right. Yeah. You're the expert. <laughs> you like, do this for a living or something? Yeah. <laughs> you should do this professionally. <laughs> That's what they say. So they say, you should sell crack on the internet. <laughs> to people 18 and over, because this video is not for kids. <laughs> so we're gonna hold that spot until it fades. <laughs> Come on. La 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 la. So in music now, it's kind of become a genreless music, really. Yeah, this is called crack. <laughs> crack pain. Oh. Holy shit. Mm. I'm the what part of my body is this? My this is a quadratus lumborum. Ah. Didn't get to that in the song either. Damn it. <laughs> we definitely need a remix. Uh-huh. I know I have tight hip flexors, but we haven't got there yet, have we? Mm-mm. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> but we're gonna. I'm gonna be We're gonna die. get through this together. Okay. All, all three of us. Uh. Plus you, the audience. Yeah. <laughs> Big deep breath. Oh wait, these are the, are we, I, I broke all these ribs, but they're fine, right? Yeah. Okay. Unless you have non-union. Like non-union? Mm -hmm. Like they joined a union? Yes. <laughs> they got a lot of PTO. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Big breath. You got negotiations. Okay. <laughs> Relax it. And blow it out. Oh, I thought. <laughs> Holy moly. Same thing over here. Big deep breath. Yeah. And blow out. <laughs> and think of your secret thoughts. Oh, fudge. It cracked. I'm so cracky. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't even believe. I didn't believe. But no, oh, I'm a believer. Oh, God. And then I ah. heard that crack. Oh, my God. I don't know what just happened, but something did. Big deep breath. And blow them up. Whoa. Whoa, that was crazy. Okay. Raise this leg as high as you can. Okay. And now the other side. That's that center. Is that a flexor? It's my hip flexor? Uh-huh. Is it out of whack? A little bit. 
It's I, I have like really bad stability on this oh side of my body. Like on my right side, my right leg. Whoa. Whoa, what's happening right now? Getting hammered. Yeah. <laughs> and that was Foster's. Yeah, that was Foster's. Whoa. Is this like knocking it into place? Exactly. That's crazy. Is this why when I do like split legs, like 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 lunges and stuff, this side's wonky? Yep. Really? Exactly. Because it's all from my hip? Yep. Whoa. And it probably comes a little bit from the scoliosis you have, but yeah. it's definitely the hip. Raise that leg again. And back down. Whoa, this is crazy. I didn't even know you could do this. I didn't know this existed. I thought you watched the video. Yeah, but I mean like- You are really watched. No, I mean in respect of, um, in respect of like helping this, I thought it was just like an ongoing thing that I had forever to deal with, you know what I mean? Well, the underlying condition is forever. Yeah, okay. You can manage it, Oof. you know, and keep it from getting worse. Yeah. Ah! Push that knee down and relax it. <laughs> mm. Push down and relax. And push <sighs> and relax. Mm. Good. Yeah, because I never knew that it was like possible to like make like to change that. I thought it was just something that I had to deal with forever. Oh, oh, oh god! Ah. 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 Lord, so that adductor's a little tight. What is it? The adductor. Oh yeah, it's tight. As fuck. That was probably in the song. Yeah. Holy moly, it was. We add to the middle. Yeah, it was like, they are the dumbest of fossils inside of your thighs. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Holy moly. Is that like a Christmas uh, theme? <laughs> if I make it cheesy and corny like commercial, it's easy to remember, like a jingle. Mm. Facts, exactly. Mm -hmm. So when did you find out wrestling wasn't real? It is. It's still like, real to me, damn it. It is. <laughs> it's still real to me. I honestly it. think like maybe like the same same time that like I found out like Santa Claus was. <laughs> you know, the, I, all the magic in my life disappeared at once. God damn it. And all right. Oh. Do you know who Chris Van Vliet is? Ah. God. Uh. No. He does a lot of wrestling like interviews. Okay. But he has this this interesting point because people would be like, wrestling's not real, and he's like, so you you know, Infinity Gauntlet wasn't real too, right? Like. Yeah. Thanos didn't really erase half the universe. Like you guys go to the fucking movies all the time, yeah, you know, yeah. plays and things like that. It's it's entertainment. It's it's live entertainment with its very impressive stunt work and you know what I mean, like athleticism right. and it's just so, amazing. So if you like plays, yeah, like I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't see what the issue is. Uh, but with a live crowd that's engaging and you know the audience giving heat back and forth and uh, it's just it's a hundred percent a show, you know. But it's like it's like. So it's like it's athletics and it's like it's yeah. the athletic capability is just so insane. Plus, you guys are all like jacked and tan. Yeah. So you can't say that about cats. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey boys, Jersey boys got nothing on Zion Quinn, son. Yeah. Well, Daniel even you know he was a professional rugby player for ten years, and right. I I did believe it or not, I did bodybuilding for like three and a half, four years, and. Like we thought we had discipline and knowledge around athletics and like God, we know nothing compares to wrestling, nothing. Right. And how to move and how to take a bump and Yeah. And on top oh, of that, like God. you have to you have to interact with another person and read them and read the crowd and Yeah. Somebody's hurt, you have to modify things on the fly. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Okay, raise that leg again. There we go. Whoa, it feels like it goes higher now. Yep. Whoa, that's crazy. So Favorite person you've worked with in AEW so far? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trick question? Uh, yeah, I don't want to. Don't, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> I, favorite I, match you've had? Fa I uh, have my. I recently just got to wrestle one of my very good friends, uh, Mafiosa. So mm, we, that, that was, was a good match. Yeah, it was, it was a match you're proud of. It was a match you felt in your soul. Yes, I felt in my soul. It was great. She was she was awesome. She's a very talented wrestler also, so it was mm. great. So how often are you performing as far as like singing? Um, I've taken kind of a back step to it now, just like because I'm you know on the road and it's um, a lot. Oh! Big deep breath. And blow it out. You're very poppy. Whoa! It's crazy. Oh my god, I feel 
feel like my life needed that. Probably needed it. Whoa! Especially if you don't self crack them out of it. Oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah. Big deep breath. Hand out. Whoa. Whoa, that was wild. I mean, the other side was wilder. Yeah, the other side was definitely more stuck. That was crazy. But we expected that, I think. Feel like a baby. <laughs> I just feel like a baby. <laughs> I, I feel like a baby. <laughs> a baby with a scarf. <laughs> But I don't feel like what we're doing is baby. I feel like this is kind of scared. No. All right, we're gonna put this in here. <laughs> bite down. Oh, wait, wait, for real? Okay. Are you gonna electroshock me? Like what's happening? Wait, I have fake teeth. Does that matter? That's why we're. I have veneers. Okay. We're protecting the goods. <laughs> Just gag it a little bit. It'll be over fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the commentary is fantastic. Though. All right, bite, uh, bite down. Mm-hmm. You're good. Mm-hmm. Oh! <laughs> oh, God. Holy shit. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> oh, I was what did you feel there? Fucking my soul leave my body. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, wow, that felt like my whole spine just went... Brrr. It's like Mortal Kombat finisher. Yeah. <laughs> oh my finisher. gosh. That was crazy. I feel like my my spine needed this. It was like, why well, haven't you done this sooner? Wow. So did, was that a good indication that I needed it? Yeah. Because I made all those sounds. Well, what, what you guys do, it's like a given. Yeah. I mean, most athletes, like like you said, you did bodybuilding, so all the compression from leg presses and squats and all that stuff. Yes. Kind of compresses down, and now you're doing even more crazy shit. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Jumping and flipping and ripping and riding and rolling and <laughs> yeah, all that, all that. All the crazy good stuff. Industry stuff. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and sit up. Whoa! I feel good. That's good. That's crazy. Feeling good is good. Ugh, they're like jelly. Yeah, the dance moves. Yeah. <laughs> I could never do this before. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at me now. That's going to melt. Yeah. This hand goes here. Oh my gosh. This hand goes here. This is going to go under like that. Yeah. Elbows in. Yeah. And then look up. Oh. <laughs> You're doing great. Oh. <laughs> You're the best. Around. <laughs> I feel good. I feel like I can fly. There we go. Oh, this is the best. Ah. E. Ah. 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 You're just making vowel sounds. E I O. <laughs> and on this farm, he had a pig. <laughs> I thought she was going to do it. No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 10, 10 out of 10. 10. She's, she's too funny to have gotten through most of our personal life stories, but you guys go follow her on Instagram. Check out more. Uh, make sure you're tuning in on, what, what, what night are you guys on TV now? Wednesdays. Wednesday and night. And Fridays. And Fridays. Yes. Holy smokes, that's a yeah. lot of days. It's a lot of days. The two best days of the week. The two best weeks. Wednesdays and Fridays. Tune okay. in. Dynamite watch, Rampage. Watch people throw kicks and punches and That's right. Yeah, and, and tombstone uh, pile drivers. That's and, right. And, uh, All the good stuff. Do you have F fives in your in your repertoire? Do we? Yeah. In general? You. No, you just make you have to watch and see. Okay. Yeah. So if you guys want to see your special uh, finishing moves, you gotta watch and see. Tune in Wednesdays and Fridays! On TV. On TV. Yeah. <laughs> Dynamite and Rampage. Yeah. And if you haven't already gone and seen her YouTube videos on their, their her song production, because uh, I, I didn't have $100 to pay her for her vocal range today. Didn't, didn't have I was going to do it, but instead yeah. we sold her crack on the internet. Yeah, that's right. But yes. I got cracked. So you're surprised you were able to get cracked? I'm very surprised, actually. I didn't know that I was crackable. Yeah. But I am crackable. <laughs> I had the same experience with alcohol before. I was like, people can't get drunk. Yeah. They're, just, they're just faking it. They're faking it. Yeah, and then I took some vodka and I was like, holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, like what just happened to you. You're like, people can't get crap. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That was really cool. I liked it. I liked it. I mean, even though the sounds didn't sound like I liked it, they were my I like it sounds. <laughs> Daniel, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Daniel. Yeah. 
<laughs> we can't do this Skip guy. The thumb. Okay. Oh. Let it go. Okay. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I didn't know we get to... Got it. That's the elbow that goes too far. Oh! oh. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Magic power now. I'll be like, let's be crack. I just need the professional. <laughs> no, no, it's it's like it'll be only feet. It's gonna be only crack. Yeah. Like, and it's, it's not that kind of crack. It's yeah. just kind of crack. I, I'm blown away. I didn't know I could do that. Well, you can do all kinds of things. So yeah, yeah follow her on Instagram. Tune in Wednesdays and Fridays on TV, cable TV, and uh, show some love. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. It's been real. It's been real. It's been real awesome.